What's up, you guys? This is the Bravo 18 from Remote Equipment. Uh, I just want to make a quick video on this bag because I just think it's really in, it's really well designed. It's a killer utility bag. You know what I mean by utility bag? What I typically have used for utility bag is this Evergoods, and you can see it's just like I've just run this thing. I'm just I use it hard, and it and it. It, it's durable. River days, beach days, family stuff. That kind of utility bag is dope, okay? So I put together my favorite utility type bags because this one might not be right for you. I'm gonna walk you through all the details in a second. But you'll find a link to my favorite utility sort of kick around bags in the link in the description. All right, let's get into this one. Okay, so this thing is actually really durable. Really durable. It's got a kind of rugged simplicity it's well conceived. I think it is thoughtfully designed and it's actually quite good to use uh, because like in all those ways, because it's simple, it's rugged, it's still good to use. So on the rugged, durable side of things, I really trust this company, Remote Equipment. The, they're making, they're, ma they're just a really high level of execution on, on very thoughtful, kind of future cutting edge type products, which is, you might look at like a utility tote like this and go like, this is, cutting edge technology. But it really is, this X-Pac material is like, is like all the rage right now. And this is X-Pac uh, X50 or X51 in the multicam here. We've got YKK zips with the AquaGuard seal. The webbing all around feels great. The way this is all extendable, right? So, or meaning, meaning uh, extensible rather. You can remove these completely. The way that the Velcro works, the Velcro itself, like all of it is, is very like, it's just, it's, it's so, it's got the simplicity, but it's still really rugged. It's still really, really durable, right? That's, that's, I like that. I like that we're got, we got simple webbing for the handles, but, uh, but it actually, there are, there's functionality. I mean, it's got a simple loop that lets you stretch that out. So now you can wear it like over the shoulder like this. And you're going like, hi, I'm from, you know, downtown LA and I have boots on and I'm looking for a motorcycle to buy. Now, very simple pocketing on this thing, okay? No water bottle holders, which is the one thing, I don't know how you do it on something like this, but I find in a kick around bag, on this one, the Evergoods Mountain Quick Draw, I'm constantly just in this big elastic thing. I'm just throwing like all my water bottles, just like there's like five family water bottles in there and it's just scrunched around and I, I love that. In this Topo Core Pack, we've got two excellent water bottles on the side. I'll put a link to do both of those bags in the description below at this time code on YouTube. So no water bottle compartment. Some of you that's already a deal breaker for for your like kick around bag, but I want you to keep looking at it because there actually are some, it's just like for certain kinds of uses, it's just killer. You have a pocket here, which is a, the whole thing is one front pocket. So a vertical zip with the YKK AquaGuard thing there. Then you have a zipper down here. This gets you into the main cavity of the bag. So the same place that the top gets you into. Now, let me zip that back up. The top itself has a, a kind of like a, a pull out guy and a cinch, okay? And our cinch here is actually like, just kind of nice to use. They have, they have this, you'll see in a second. I, the details on this bag are actually really killer. Killer, but also just like, down to earth, I, there's something I really like about it. So you got this cinch on the top for the main capacity of the bag, right? But easy to open, and then inside of there, there's actually a little pouch. It has both a pouch and then a zippered pocket for with some uh, some mesh. Now, I actually think that for such a simple bag, this thing is actually really well conceived. Like, have you ever heard that quote about, I wish I had a lot, I wish I had more time, I would write a shorter message, right? It's actually hard to do simple well. I think there's another Einstein quote. You know, Einstein's like the patron saint of our era. Like, if Einstein, if Einstein said it, it's like, that ends calm, that ends debates. That's like, oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, that's true. And he has something about that, like the importance of, of it's, it's not too simple. Right? But knowing the difference between when it's too simple, when it's not simple enough, that is what design is. That is what the human experience is. And these experts of the human experience, I call them designers, um, they're thinking about these kinds of things. And I love on this bag, it's not pretentious. This little, can you see this little di diagonal? It's just a cover for the zip, because the zip is totally water resistant, right? Uh, and, uh, but wherever the actual zip head is, can create a little gap. So this like hides up there. And I just, 
think aesthetically it looks good. Of course, from a water resistance perspective, uh, you've just got a cinch on the top, like a <laughs> big hole on the top. So uh, in, <laughs> in terms of water resistance, like it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna be, like if you're wearing this on your back, like, you know, it's cool that we have that little thing for the little zipper, but you're still gonna flood your bag. And you can get it really tight. You can cinch it up. You can get it as tight as my b-hole when I'm just like, you know, <laughs> for some reason I was just looking at that. This is a little bubble when I was thinking about that Dave Chappelle shit where he's talking about Michael Jackson. Oh my God. We won't get into that here, but I like that the, the details on this bag, they feel well conceived. They're thoughtful. They're not pretentious or precious. Like this is like a little piece of plastic and you can see some of the printing on it right there. And I find that it's actually, what a gorgeous, and actually like human use wise, like that is the perfect size for a couple fingers. And this is a nice, like a nice piece of paracord and this whole get up for cinching actually works really well. And I also like that this whole white flap, when you don't need it, can just go down like that and then you're in like, you know, you're in tote mode. I like that these handles, I think this is a controversial opinion. I think some people are gonna really dislike these handles over time, because they're not soft. They don't have any sort of accoutrement to make your hand feel so good. I don't know, what, what accent was that? What I was uh, trying to go for was some sort of a French accent, right? Because uh, the French are over the, the, again, where is that going? It always, it always goes somewhere. But you can make those straps themselves longer, and then you're doing this thing. Like I said, it's like, hey, yeah, I rode a motorcycle in, and uh, I'm in downtown LA. I'm thinking about uh, starting up like a coffee mug company. Yeah, like hand blown coffee mugs. It's, uh, you know, back to artisanship, right? And as I mentioned, the, the Velcro and the little ways that these straps really come off, I'm gonna show you there's five different ways to carry this bag. Um, it just feels like the, the I, some of you are going to love this bag. Some of you, this is like literally like you're chubbing up right now and <laughs> I'm guessing it's mostly men, uh, but I could be totally wrong on that. I don't care if it's like, I don't know. Some people are gonna go nuts for this bag because of simplicity, the sort of elegance of just letting the material speak for themselves, the silhouette, just like, and some of you are just like, what the fuck are we talking about? Now it's actually useful, all right? There's five different modes of carry. Like I said, you've got tote handles, which these are adjustable. So I, if I was carrying them by hand, when they're like this long, it's like hovering just like an inch up off the ground, which I like that. Cause then I can always like, if I, I can just let it down and then like lean it up against me if I'm standing in line anywhere or something like that. For small grocery runs, this kind of thing is sweet. You could fit your MacBook Pro with, a, if you had like a, a cash like a cover for it and make this your actual sort of work like kind of tool bag you know what I mean it has that vibe then you can go over the shoulder with the tote straps because they go longer as well so you can do this like I said you know riding your bicycle in going like ring ring hey how's it going I'm artisanal you've got a backpack version as well so you've got two straps that are both removable okay obviously you've got the backpack I like this for when I'm doing my yoga stuff with this thing. I just cinch the, just throw the yoga thing in there. It doesn't, it just is like a, it's just a pouch. It's just a pouch on my back. Everything's really, really insanely lightweight. There's nothing to it, but what you've put into the bag. Now, these straps come off and you can carry a couple different ways. I'm going diagonal across with one strap to give myself uh, what apparently is supposed to be a sling vibe, right? So I'm slinging to try to get this thing sort of straight on my back, but I've got one shoulder, right? Like a messenger bag, but it, it, this is a sling because it's, uh, you know, it's angled, it's cockeyed. Then I can move this strap back. By the way, these, Zel these Velcro things, I mentioned them on purpose. Like there's a lot of bags out there that have a lot of different ways to change and move things around. And you do it once and you go like, I'm never gonna do this again. This is such a hassle. These are so utilitarian, so easy to get in and out uh, because you're just going Velcro through, over and over, just like a surfboard leash. And now you can do like a, I don't know. What do you do with this? This is this was like a messenger bag. So it's it's cross body and it's cross body, right? So it's got a little messenger bag. Probably my least favorite of the group. For myself personally, uh, I think I will keep it without any straps actually. I'm gonna take these straps off and I'm just gonna keep them at the bottom of the bag and use it as a 
uh, as a tote, as like a utility tote most of the time, an over the shoulder type of thing. And then I can always take these, put them on if I, if I need to for my, depending on what that river day or that kick around day looks like, right? That's what I love this thing for. Having just like that utility tote that is made from shit that's gonna last for forever. This x packs like survives the Holocaust. You've got a, one quick access, which by the way, could be, you know, your place where you put your water bottle and your phone and keys and that's it, right? And then everything else is inside the bag. Maybe you have a pouch. Maybe you have a good pouch that you have inside. Like I'll use my, like I love this brown buffalo porter pen pouch because it's big enough. You could fit a lot of different stuff in here. This, when I go to the beach, I have one of these that's like phone, keys, all that kind of stuff. And it keeps the sand out of stuff, right? So that can go right in there. And now you've got room for whatever else you need to bring. You got your water bottle, got all your stuff. And you're showing up like looking like, you know, you're looking like you are starting like a Father John Misty cover band. Ultimately, my gist on it is, uh, is, it's elegant. There's an elegant simplicity to this. I know some of you are like, what are we talking about this sack for? <laughs> I totally get it. But from a perspective of just soft goods design, it's actually like really elegantly simple. I dig it. It's the kind of thing that, that I, I like, it just kind of, get, I, it gets me. I personally love the simplicity. I love the utility of it, all the different modes of carry and all the different things I could do. Um, but some of you are going to be like, you know, you couldn't even... You wouldn't even get out of bed to watch a video on this bag. You're gonna be like, it's a fucking sack. But whether or not you should pay for this one to be your kick around bag or for something different, uh, that's, that's the question. So that's why I put together the kick around bag page or the utility bag page, right? Because there's some of my favorite bags. It's like the bag that's not your daily care or like what's great about it is you can use it as your daily care. You can switch out, but really it's there. It's empty because when we need to head out the door and we're gonna go do something, we're just gonna grab that bag. We're throwing the water bottles in, a couple snacks, diapers, let's go. So this one may not be right for you uh, based on price or based on feature set or something like that. Hopefully there's something else at that page for you. Listen, while you are there at that page, at the bottom of every page on that website, matterful.co, you can get on the email list. Do so because we're going to be doing a huge giveaway when we cross 75,000 subs, which is gonna happen in a few weeks on this channel. So make sure you're on the email list so you are entered automatically for a chance to win there because we give so much shit away last time and we're doing we're doing even more like it's like thousands of dollars worth of gear also any of you who are interested in conscious cannabis use for more productivity more focus actual good creativity not just like random paranoias there's a link below in the description at this time code for conscious cannabis resources that i'm putting together i will email you the moment i have something great on it i want to start sending little things uh, because i think that a lot of us can just struggle with like actually turning off our brains uh and and that booze uh, as much as I love my boozes, man, it's just it, it just has a different impact on the body. And and there's some smart ways to use cannabis that I think can make us more productive, that can make our lives overall more focused and more energetic and vital because we're actually resting. We're actually turning off our brains at the end of the day. It can be a useful tool sometimes. But it's also sort of fraught with challenges, you know what I mean? So, so that's why the email list so we can have longer conversations. Just if you're interested in that, Click that. As always, uh, you have a lot of options when you fly the friendly skies of YouTube. So I appreciate you being here, hanging out with me. Uh, if you like this, let's take it to the next stage of the relationship. We can go to Instagram or you can DM me and you can tell me exactly what your favorite bag is or what your questions are about something or... And I might not even get back to you because they're, 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 we're growing over there. But I'll tell you what I will do. I will make some Instagram stories that are confusing. <laughs> that people are like, what it, do I, I think I get it. And then don't forget, you can always go to workwithchase.com and if you want to talk about anything, if you want to get involved, if, like, let's, let's ham it up. You just, <laughs> I talk about, I talk about the weirdest things with people. It's so much fun. I just kind of like get in whatever issue that they're in and go like, well, let's, 
Let, let's let's talk about it. And there's like a rooftop session available. You know, I I don't know. How, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe you're watching this in the in the future, so maybe that's totally changed. But right now, I'm where I'm living. Like I have a bitchin' rooftop deck in San Diego, and I'm like I'm literally going like, let's talk about your life on the roof and uh, cannabis optional. Okay, I know you have a lot of options when you fly the friendly skies of YouTube. Thank you for being someone who's conscientiously looking into purchases before you just willy-nilly spray and pray and spend your money on stuff. I'm glad you're looking at a product like this and others that come from companies who aren't letting us down, who aren't breaking their promises to us, who aren't just Instagram advertising farms. I think our lives get better when we're funding, supporting a part of uh, better things going on in the world. So instead of that, just like, how do we get this product as cheap as possible to market with as much possible profit? There's this other question, which is like, how do we make something good at as cheap as possible to the market with as much possible pro profit? Everybody's gotta eat, baby. You know what I mean? And I gotta get my shit from one place to another in a way that everything's organized. And you know, if you haven't heard me rant about why I love bags so much, like, well, just keep paying attention. I'll probably start hearing about. There's nothing like when you get a product that you love, it's organized the way that you think about your gear. You find everything you need when you need it. When you don't need it, it's not in the way. That kind of stuff on a daily basis is such an upgrade. And not just one time, but every single interaction on every single day. Those kinds of interactions build up over time and can reinstate our trust in humanity. <laughs> All right, y'all, talk to you later. Links below in the description. Thanks for everything. Be yourselves, make good choices. Ta-ta for now.